Hello and welcome to your preview of Training to Go modules presented by Technical Sales and Consulting. At the end of the preview, we will provide how to access more information about our training products. Thanks for visiting and we hope you enjoy the preview. Low voltage power breakers and some insulated case breakers are 100% rated. This means the breaker does not need to be derated and can be used at the full breaker rating. Manufacturers of molded case circuit breakers have some models that are UL listed for application at 100% of their rating. Now why would you use a 100% rated breaker? Let's go through a typical application to see the benefits. Let's see how these load values were determined in this table. Feeder number one has a non-continuous load of 200 amps plus a continuous load of 400 amps. Remember, the NEC requirement of sizing continuous loads are we take 400 amps times 1.25 plus the 200 amp non-continuous load and the total is 700 amps. Since 700 amps is not a standard frame, we need to use an 800 amp frame with a 700 amp trip. Feeder number two has an all continuous load of 800 amp. When we take this load times 1.25, we have a required rating of 1000 amps. Again, since this is not a standard rating, we must use a 1200 amp frame with a 1000 amp trip unit. Feeder number three has a 600 amp non-continuous load and therefore does not have to be derated. When you total up the load, we have a 1000 amp non-continuous and a 1000 amp continuous. We take the non-continuous of 1000 plus the derated value of 1000 times 1.25 and determine that the required protection is 2250 amp. The nearest size would require a 2500 amp with a 2300 amp trip. These values are displayed in this single line diagram. Now let's see what happens when we use 100% rated breakers by comparing diagrams side by side. Feeder number one has a combined load of 600 amps. Therefore, we can use a 600 amp 100% continuous rated breaker. By doing so, we can now use a smaller cable size and the MCC bus now only needs to be rated at 600 amps. Feeder number two had a load of 800 amps. We can now use an 800 amp 100% rated breaker, but once again we now use an 800 amp busway instead of the 1000 amp busway. Feeder number three carries 600 amps total, so using a conventional sizing method, there is no need to use a 100% rated breaker here. Now remember, the total load was 2000 amps. So the main breaker can be a 100% rated 2000 amp breaker with a 2000 amp trip, thus reducing the bus rating on the distribution switchboard to 2000 amp. Using 100% rated breakers in this application allows for improved cost by using smaller bus and cable size, plus it reduces the footprint because of the smaller breaker sizes. It should be noted that 100% rated breakers are priced at a premium over conventional breakers, so there may not be savings in every application. Careful examination of the loads on the system should be evaluated to determine if 100% rated breakers provide an economical solution. There are a few rules to abide by when applying 100% rated breakers. The first one is that the breaker must have been tested to UL standards. Next. 100% rated needs to be clearly stated on the breaker nameplate. The circuit breaker must also use an electronic trip unit. The next may seem a little confusing. Only 90 degree wire may be used with ampacity based on 75 degree rated conductors. Now what is the logic behind this? Using 90 degree rated wiring provides a more robust insulated coating. Using the ampacity at 75 degrees provides additional cooling because of the lower current. Effectively, you are derating the wire. Let's look at the NEC table 31016 for a closer look. 
Since manufacturers specify that copper wire be used, we'll focus our attention to that portion of the table. The rule designates that these types of 90 degree cable be used, but the current is selected from the readings in this column. Lastly, UL requires the breaker to be tested with a minimum size enclosure, and that size must be visible on the nameplate. Hi, we hope you enjoyed a sample video of our online e-learning module. This clip is from one of our many available modules. We're always working on new modules, but here is the current list of developed lessons. Low voltage motor control, molded case circuit breakers, insulated case circuit breakers, low voltage power breakers, medium voltage switch gear, medium voltage control, motor control centers, transformers, contactors, operators devices, protective relays, and lastly variable frequency drives. Outlines, pricing, previews, and requests for information are available at tsnc.com slash e-learning. Let our training to go programs train your people while you run your business.